Jacob, who is that? Hey, Joe, I didn't see you there. Jacob, <laughs> who is that? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, remember that guy that uh, Pizza Rooney Tony told us to whack? That's him? Yeah, that's him. Jacob, I told you I would take care of it. I was on my way to his house when you called me and told me to get back here. Yeah. So how'd you kill him? Well, when you left to go do your thing, I looked him up on Facebook, his name's Ned. Um, and I told him I was a high school friend, I worked nearby. And so he came down here and I whacked him on the head. Like, you whacked him on the head. You whacked him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, whacked? Whacked means shot, stabbed, maimed, electrocuted, drowned, burned, shot, and disemboweled. Not hit over the head. I, I know, you told me like 10 times already. Yep, right? I told you 10 times. Yep. <laughs> the thing is, I'm afraid of blood. Oh, you poor thing. Hey, look at me. It's okay. <laughs> How did you end up in the Italian mob if you can't do something as simple as look at a drop of blood? I, I use my words over my fists. <laughs> <laughs> words don't mean jack if you can't use your fist to back him up. Well, he's been like this for at least like 15 minutes, so he's probably dead, so I can't move him on my own. I need some help. So? What do you want me to do about it? Vito, would you please and ever so kindly, very graciously take time away from your busy day of getting tons of bodacious women and making way too much bank to help me in my insignificant task? <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, I will. Let's just move them out back, all right? O okay. <sighs> no, it's kind of funny, actually. You wouldn't come in at first. Why? Well, you know how, like, we use this place as, like, a, a therapy center therapy. and we have that sign in the front that says close so no one comes in asking questions? Well, I switched it to open because he wouldn't come in otherwise. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying you changed the sign from close to open? Yeah, I mean, I don't see what the big deal is. Okay, so did you at least change the sign back once you killed him? No. Hey, but, okay, here's the thing. I got to thinking. You know how as mobsters we're always shooting people, hurting people, lying, taking things that are ours, <coughs> staying out past curfew, driving over the speed limit, and doing all sorts of horrible things that only you, me, and my diary can know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe, just maybe, we could make it as mobsters and therapists, give back to community what we once took away and help those who hurt. <laughs> are you freaking kidding me? You changed the sign from close to open because you want to play doctor for a few hours? You're crazy. Look, Jacob, let me tell you what happens to doctors. They die. All of them. Well, everyone dies at some point. Well, that's not the point. Look, do you realize the implications of your actions? If somebody comes in here and sees us moving a body, we... You go to jail. You'll go to jail too. You'll be an accomplice to a murder. Okay, great. So if we get caught, we both go to jail. Great work, Jacob. First kill and you're ready to end up in jail. Vito, no one's going to come in here, okay? There's that window next to the closed open sign that says, all marriage counseling welcome, especially marriage counseling. <laughs> no one goes to marriage counseling anymore. They just kind of like yell at each other a little bit, then they get divorced. <laughs> yeah, you are. So yeah, so no one's going to come in here, Vito. Trust me. <laughs> Nobody's going to come in here. May, may, maybe if we're quiet, they'll go away. I get off me and watch! Okay. If I come back in here and the body's still here, I'll be wanted for two murders. You understand? Yep. Good. Yes, we are open. I'll be right with you. Uh, uh, and when I get left in, No one? Then what are you talking to? All right, Jacob, allow me to introduce Ernest Sachs and his wife, Stephanie. They've been married for five months and two weeks, and they've been loving 
every second, as you can tell. Well, why are you here? We seek marriage counsel. Uh, our marriage is on the verge of collapse! Oh, you just let me speak? <laughs> sure thing, babe. <laughs> the thing is, we got married relatively quickly after we started dating. And about how long was that? Two weeks. I know, it seems quick, but the heart knows when it's found the one. Aww. <laughs> Look, you want my advice, both of you? You two aren't right for each other. You married too soon. True love doesn't exist. Ernest, move someplace warm and stunning, find a blonde curvy model, and die at the age of 65 from eating too much lobster crisp. Stephanie, take most of Ernest's fortune, buy 15 cats, name them after the children you never had, and start liking Nicholas Sparks. Because it's going to be a rough next couple of years till you drop dead of loneliness. What I'm trying to say is, get a divorce. No, we don't want a divorce. Are you sure? I mean, it's cheap and easy. Vito, please, these people need our help. You know, it's like Huey Lewis in the news says. It's strong and it's sudden, and it's cruel sometimes. But it might just save your life. That's the power of love. <laughs> these, people, these people need us to heal their love with our love. Power of it. Jacob, nobody has ever been saved by the power of love. The power of love? What is that? Some kind of therapy? Oh no, you see, we don't really Can I talk to you for a moment? Fine, fine. Uh, what? Vito, we need to help these people. Jacob, we just killed somebody. Do you understand? Where's the body? It's in the closet. Don't worry. It's not going to come looking out anytime soon. Okay? We need to help these people right now. Okay, say. Say we do help these people. This ain't a charity thing, is it? I don't do charity. I'm the mob. No. Okay. Ernest, what about five thousand dollars on reasonable to fix your marriage? Five thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars would be more than enough to fix this marriage. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Stacks, while Dr. Jacob and I fix you along. Would you kindly step into our office? Honey, please. Only because I love you, dearie. <laughs> okay, so let's start over. Hi, I'm Dr. Vito, and this is Dr. Jacob. So what brings you to us today? Well, have you ever had something like a big secret you wouldn't want to let anyone know about? Never. <laughs> Just a ventilation or something. Uh, Dr. Jacob, could you go check yeah, it out? Probably just ventilation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ventilation. All right. So, uh, Ernest, we're saying uh, something about a secret. Oh. Yeah. Let me see. A man can't say the word meat. You can't say meat. Yes. Oh. oh my God! Just the fight. Then get in there and fix this couple's love. $10,000. Uh, 
Yeah, we, we talked it over and we came up with a solution to your little problem. Little problem? <laughs> oh, yeah, a little. You see, what your problem seems to be is, uh, what's the problem? Allergies? No, not allergies. Uh, a broken heart? Not a broken heart. Post syndrome, this traumatic disorder. No. Yes! And a very severe case of it. We'll probably have to prescribe something for you, but I think what your problem seems to be is you two have so many things that you want to tell each other. You know, all these things, you know, because you're a couple and you want to tell each other. If you're looking for an I love you, I already said it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look, what I'm saying is you two, you have so many problems stored up. It's kind of like a deep secret that you're not willing to tell anyone and you store it up for so long until eventually it comes out. Well, kind of like uh, an explosion. So that's what post-traumatic stress disorder is? Yes, that, yeah, exactly, yeah. Honey, these men get me. These men get you? They get you? Just because two doctors say you got post-traumatic stress syndrome doesn't mean you got it, okay? Now you understand it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you have to be more open, you know, towards his fears and setbacks. Because not everyone is comfortable with, well, you know, don't change for Ernest. Just be more open and accepting towards his setbacks. Steph, if you will, just cover it in some Cheerios or something, and I'll gladly do <laughs> whatever you give me. Well, I guess I could try. <laughs> All right, go take care of our friend, Dr. Jacob. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you know, the body's gone. Oh, the body's gone? Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, go get it. I don't, I don't know where Look, I don't care. Just go get it and bring it out back. All right? Okay. Let's go. All right? Go, go. Post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? Both myself and my father. Yeah. Did you take care of the trash? Yeah, but I brought it inside. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I thought you told me to bring it inside. Jacob, I said, bring it out back. No, you said bring it inside. <laughs> Jacob. This all seems a bit irrelevant. We'll just... No, no, don't, don't go. Okay, uh, you deserve the truth. What? Okay, Jacob. Jacob. Uh, <laughs> We're part of the Italian mob. The Italian we mob, do yeah. really mean things, Bad like people. beat old ladies. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, um, yeah, but we also wanted to help you guys, and there is no such thing as trash. It's really just uh, um, that. My head hurts. <laughs> You're supposed to be dead! Dead? No, but just act like it. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, no. Excellent. So, we didn't get the $10,000, and there's still a body. Great work. Great work. This is your problem. You fix it. I got an idea. Jacob, why didn't we just run for it? They never think to look in the closet. <laughs> you know, for such an idiot, you can be smart. <laughs> they were right here! They were right here! They were right here! They said they were in the Italian mob. <gasps> Mobsters! <laughs> <laughs> now, if I were a mobster, <laughs> where would I hide? <laughs> where did I start a spaghetti? <gasps> now, where would I store the spaghetti? In the closet! The closet! Yeah, yeah. Now where can I find a closet? A closet! A 
closet. What kind of closet? Oh. Got you, but mother of God. Do you know who this man is? No. Should we? It's the purse thief. Ah! Not. This man is wanted for five thefts in the county of Lowe. You guys are dead meat. Oh. <laughs>